Hi, I'm Tiffany Windsor. One of Mama Aline's favorite techniques is the look of metal with Aline's burnt brown bag. That's where you take a brown grocery bag, you apply a coat of Aline's tacky glue, and you burn it. Well, I want to do that same technique, but on a wood piece. So I want to show you how to create the look of metal with burned glue on wood. For this technique, I am using the Aline's Original Tacky Glue in the gold bottle. The first step is to base coat your wood piece with black acrylic paint. Once your piece is painted front, back, and sides, you're going to want to let this dry completely. When your paint is dry, you are ready to start the technique for burning your glue. What you do is you take your Aline's Original Tacky Glue and you apply it directly to the surface. As I mentioned, this technique originally started out on brown grocery bags, but you can put it on wood and other surfaces. You want a generous coat. You want to be sure that you don't see any of the surface below it. If you can see the black paint, that means you don't have enough glue. While your glue is still wet, you are going to start burning it over a candle. Now this is an emergency candle that I bought at my local hardware store. I like it because it has a very tall flame to it. This owl is cool because it has the feet to hold on to while you're burning. And what you want to do is you want to keep rotating your piece or pick up your candle like I have and you're going to burn the glue. Now, be sure you do this in a very well ventilated area because there is soot that starts to burn. You can see here how that's starting to blacken the glue. Continue with this step until the entire surface is blackened. After you have burned the glue for about five minutes, it should be very black and very sooty. Take a paper towel and gently start to press some texture into that glue. You should be able to do this without breaking the skin. And while you're pressing, you're going to lift up some of that black soot. So I'm pressing in it to give it the look of feathers. If you break the skin of the glue, it's not a problem. You can burn that section again. See all of that beautiful texture? That's exactly the look that you want. If you don't have enough texture, go ahead and apply another coat of glue, reburn it, and wipe off the soot to push the texture into the glue. When you have the surface burned properly, the top should move around slightly with the wet glue underneath and that's what allows you to push the texture into the surface. You're going to want to let this dry completely. When you start to apply your antiquing, the texture is really going to pop. You can use traditional colors like gold or silver or you can play with color like I am with my aqua. Use your Aline's Original Tacky Glue to apply large buttons for the eyes with flat back marbles. Remember, it starts white, but it does dry clear. We'll add a little beak here. And you have a great new piece of art. It's been over 50 years now since Mama Aline's designers first tested Aline's Tacky Glue for flammability, and they discovered this technique. It's fun, it's funky, it's still fresh. The Aline's Original Tacky Glue in the Gold Bottle is available at Michael's. It's terrifically tacky and creatively cool.